Hey, welcome into the stream. Welcome into the stream. How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, the plan for tonight is we're going to play some more Fallout New Vegas. Uh, last stream, we ran around Black Mountain. We took out all the, uh, you know, big death, yeah. death mutants. Super mutants. And then uh, after that, we went to the Quarry Junction and cleared that place out. Beat all the death laws, things like that. This stream, I want to head down to uh, the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, that's right. We left off right out front of uh, the vault here. Let's uh, shoot over to the strip. We're actually going to go inside of uh, Lucky 38. All right, Biff here. How's it going, man? Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Hey, thank you, Victor. I see you brought some friends. Sorry, partner, but they're gonna have to stay outside. No problem. Let's head inside. Come back soon now. Nice. Look at that warm welcome. Right, let's go meet this Mr. House. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally, and I suspect, figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? I've never seen anything like this place. Of course you haven't. Vegas always was one of a kind. What you see down on the strip is just a fraction of the city's former glory, and yet, more than an echo. I preserved its spirit. Or perhaps you were referring to the Lucky 38? The years haven't been kind to her, but still she manages to impress. Uh, why the MVP treatment? I'm just a courier. Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. Let's get down to business, then. The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me, and I want it recovered. Simple enough. What do you propose? My only concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? A thousand caps, I accept your terms. Well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? Not at the moment. Until then. What I'm thinking is we're gonna come back and do his stuff later on, but for now, I just need the penthouse. I'll see here. Let's part ways for now, Boone. If that's what you think. Uh, I do. Well, I'll meet you at the Lucky 38. I'll make my way there. You're already here. We just have EDE, so now we can take off. Where to, partner? All right, we need to go to this place, the 188. That's where the companion's gonna be standing. No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? I'm from Good Springs. Wow, you have come a long way then. I've never been there, but I've met some traders who passed that way. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. You live in a hole in the ground, question mark? Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family, whatever they need. So you just leave your family in a bunker, question mark? Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? Go ahead. I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? They're usually harmless unless you use advanced technology around them. Well, that shouldn't be a problem for me. I can't afford anything like that. Hey, so where are you headed anyway? You want to see an old friend. There we go. This is quite a journey you're going on then. Must be an interesting relationship to have brought you all this way. I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. Well, thank you. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together, help each other out. You don't look like much. What do you bring to the table? Hmm. Good. That's the look I was going for. Trust me on this one, though. You'll be glad you brought me along. If I turn out to be a burden, we can part ways at any time. No hard feelings. 
Where are you hoping to go? Oh, nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world, looking for a fresh perspective. I want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the Mojave. See if there's something I can learn from. Don't you have a family to feed, though? Like I said, they can handle themselves. And I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. It's a big family. Okay, let's travel together. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. Oh? I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? Actually, I feel more comfortable now that I know you're, you have some training. I'm great at punching people. I'm not gonna lie. It's a gift. Well, thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. No problem, Veronica. Her family's about to die. <laughs> I haven't decided how I want to deal with the uh, brotherhood just yet. There's a couple options. All right, Veronica is giving you the scribe assist assistant perk. Let's hit the road, huh? This way, right there. So we're just going to hop over to Sloan and make our way down into it. <laughs> Actually, though... Yo, good call on that noise. There's actually enemies here. Ah. <laughs> I actually thought I was being shot at. I was like, these scorpions have guns? Because <laughs> in my headset, it literally sounds Trouble. like someone's shooting at me. What a shot. What is that? Why does it get dark like that? One hell of a windstorm. Yo, where's the bunker, though? Holy shit. Yo, you guys spooked me. Doc Schuler is a lifesaver. I was. Download complete. Begin recording. Navarro Outpost Scientist, I am glad that EDE has reached you. You will find several data banks of information on this machine. Continue. Please handle this information with the utmost care as it represents the sum total of the results of my research on the Duraframe iBots. There are also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy and some projects they were working on in the Mojave area. I've never seen them just standing outside like this. It's weird. Yo, I kind of want that. You want to hustle, my man? Hello, outsider. Oh, there's the base. There it is. That's the bunker I'm looking for. Alright. Hold on, I've got this. Yeah? I'd like a large atomic shake and a double Brahmin burger. And easy on the agave sauce this time. We gave you a password, Veronica. It's for your safety. I know where you live, Ramos. Open up. <laughs> For Pete's sake. Opening up. Welcome back, Veronica. Listen up. I'm in charge of security around here. And I can't say I'm too happy about having an outsider waltzing around. But since you came in with Veronica, I'm inclined to cut you a little slack. Just behave yourself, and we won't have any problems, okay? Oh, and the Eller's going to want to talk to you. He's on the second level. Just take a right once you get down there. My office is right here in case you need anything. Just ask for Ramos. All right, thanks, Ramos. So if you don't have Veronica with you, they like come out that second door, like three of them. They stop you and talk to you, and they actually put an explosive collar on your neck. So if you don't want that to happen, you go grab Veronica, and you don't have to worry about having an explosive on you. Yeah, I think this is it. Here we go. Where are you? <laughs> I'm meeting the Brotherhood of Steel, as we speak. When Paladin Ramos informed me that Veronica was approaching with an outsider in tow, at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here, though you'd remain Veronica's responsibility. What do you say, outsider? 
Are you I, to help us? I started blasting. Bah, wow. bah. Oh, I don't see so good, so I missed. You guys are so destructive. <laughs> All right, I'll help you. Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit, with you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. I'll begin looking immediately. I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them, but their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Uh -huh. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, but hopefully some of what's available will prove useful to you. Alright, so if you come in with Veronica, you also get access to the shops right away. That's interesting. Alright, I did say I'd give it a save here and see how far we can get. Although, I don't know if Veronica will stand for fighting against her own people. It's gonna be interesting. Let's give it a save right here. Oh, please. <laughs> I think that was a one shot. We gained the Lorne Death perk. That was a headshot. It vilified immediately. Oh, yeah, that was a. <laughs> I can't believe I got a level off of that. <laughs> oh, that is messed up. Oh, yeah, they're mad. Uh. Really, she fights her own people for me. Yeah, you got a lot of health. A lot of armor. Oh my god, Veronica! Dude, she punches hard. Trouble. Determined to fight the Brotherhood. Well, you can add my name to your hit list because you're on your own. All right, so she does leave you for that. I learned something new today. I'm going to load my last save and continue from there. That was interesting to see, though. I, I started blasting. Bah, bah. Oh, I don't see so good, so I missed. You guys are horrible. <laughs> All right, I think actually I've already recovered one of the three patrols, so it shouldn't take me too long to grab the other two. So. You're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Yep. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. Man, you're kind I'm of the dick. head paladin of this chapter, and I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what the Elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble, and he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? Yeah, sure, go ahead. As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by. And many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. How do you propose to do that? I don't know. I've gone through our records dozens of times looking for a precedent regarding the dismissal of an elder and come up with nothing. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters, so they refuse to help me, which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less suspicion asking questions about such matters. The fact that the elder has some tasks for you means his faithful won't suspect you, and you have a line open to the man himself. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. Will you at least think about it? You're so destructive. 
<clears throat> there is another option though. If you don't want to shoot your way out, you can. I think you can detonate the whole bunker. I mean, hey, if the consensus is we take these guys out, we can do this too. Put in the purge codes. I mean, I'd rather do the purge codes than shoot my way out because I can save the ammo. I mean, we can take a vote. What's the vote? Do we help the brother to steal or we blow him up? A few moments later. I'll see what I can do. That'll have to do. I'd recommend going to see Ramos first. As head of security, he's more familiar with our protocols than anyone else here. You could also try to find something relevant in our data store, though last I heard Scribe Ibsen is having a bit of a problem accessing it. And if McNamara should give you any tasks, I'd ask that you kept me abreast of them. Report anything you find to me, and we'll move from there. All right, so optional help, optional, optional. Yeah, we don't care about none of that. We have a bomb to set off. Very hard. Oh, get to grind and then. All right. I mean, I could, I could do that. I think you could bypass it with the three codes. So, excuse me. Generate self-destruction password. Never mind. It's a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> Please insert all three key cards below. So that's what I need to do. Is find those three key cards. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a key card? Scribe Taggart. It's your favorite student. Yo, shut up. <laughs> he just laughs. Ah, so there is the key card. So let's steal three of them then. Oh, I'm so detected. So detected. Bet you couldn't even get with the stealth boy. Alright, so inventory. Stealth boy. You don't see nothing. Nailed it. There he is. You don't see me. You don't see me. There it is. Now oh, come on. Oh, hidden, hidden, hidden. Give me that. Nailed it. What do we got going on here? Oh, that was cool. All right, so we have all three pass cards. Let's do this. Uh, yes, please go faster. Generate self-destruction password. Ooh, we're in. <laughs> do it. I will. I will. Oh, begin bunker self-destruction sequence. Say a cool line though. You think I'm cool? <laughs> Begin bunker self-destruction. Say we're about to blow this place. You know, I would say that, but like, there's a lot of dudes in here. Yes, I would like to activate the sequence. Let's do it. Ooh, immediately vilified. <laughs> oh, let's go. Time to run. I'm sorry, Veronica. Hold on. She's definitely not gonna You're follow me. You're making me, me carry this. the heavy stuff, aren't you? Why is she? A, is she a smoker? Why does she have five cartons of cigarettes? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, God! Oh fuck! <laughs> uh, hey! No, don't worry about me. Oh! Uh, oh! Uh. All right, I need a stem pack right now. Cause when I come around the corner, there's two gallon lasers. Oh shit! Oh, uh, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot! This way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna save right by the door here. To be fair, they were in some pretty thick armor. Alright, let's get this puppy out. Start launching. Don't stop shooting. Uh, oh, it's Veronica. What's up? EDE is unconscious. All right. Looking sharp, Ramos. I love how she's complimenting them as they're fighting them. Ooh, that was pretty well placed, I think. Oh, they're all right there. Oh shit! Ooh, heal, 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 heal. I'm dead. That's a god's rifle. I'm so dead. Hold on, hold on. New strat, new strat. Open the door. All right. Let him come out, let him come out, let him come out. Go back in. 
Oh, no, no, go back out, go back out. Ah! <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. 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 Where are you? <laughs> I'm trying not to die, that's where I'm at. Oh. I have nothing to heal when I have two HP. Nice! Alright, give me God's rifle. Somebody just give me God's rifle. God's rifle. Alright, yeah, she lost faith in us. Clearly you're determined to fight the Brotherhood. Well, you can add my name to your hit list because you're on your own. Fair enough. Alright, there's that level. Alright, let's get that gun skill up. We suck with any kind of thing, any kind of accuracy. There it is. That was loud. That was really loud. Oh, that's cool. I never noticed that. After you blow it up, all the uh, fans start smoking. That's awesome. Let's head over to uh, the Lucky 38 and grab Boom. Where to, partner? Residential suite, sir. Actually, let's go to the cocktail lounge. I'm going to grab the uh, uh, snow globe that's up there and sell that quick. Mr. House is a robot in his suite that buys the snow globes from you, and she pays like two grand per. So we're definitely picking that up, and we're definitely gonna sell it. They got three on me now. All right, let's go to the penthouse. Talk to this lady. Those nasty Brotherhood of Steel brutes are all taken care of. Mr. House will be so glad. You're welcome. That's with the snow globe collection. Not many people know this. But Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me, and I'll add them to his collection. You'll get a reward, of course. In fact, right. one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. I already did. Got some snow globes from Mr. House's collection. You do? Six grand. Well, that's just <laughs> wonderful. I'll take them and put them with the rest of the collection. Well, thank you very much. See you later. Alright, let's go. Where to, partner? Let's go get Boone. Presidential suite, please. Some other guy's rifle. I need some more cash. And then we can head to the clinic real quick before we move on to hunting the fiends. Hi, roller sweet. Welcome, sir or ma Alright, let me sell you some stuff. There we go. Twelve grand. Perfect. We can head over to the uh, medical office and get some surgeries done. What's up, hey. Doc? You're back. Do you need medical attention? Uh no, but I would like some implants. All right, let me do a quick test to make sure your body can handle another implant. All right, you're healthy enough to handle another one. Which surgery are you considering? I'm pretty sure this is where they got the idea for Cyberpunk. I would like the subdermal implants. That's going to give me more damage thresholds when I get hit. I'm less likely to actually get hit. Or that damage, would be rather. the Nemean subdermal armor. It's a bit pricey, 8,000 caps. But the implant causes your skin cells to be bolstered with iron. It won't make you bulletproof, but it will make you a little harder to injure. All right, here's the cap stack. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. All right, so we got the surgery. Oh yeah, I need stent packs, doc. Please. You're back. Do you need medical attention? No, I need your supplies. What do you got for sale? Please have all of the stent packs. All of them. Thank you. All right, so we grabbed all of hers. I just need to like go to every vendor and buy the stem bags because we have nothing. Oh shit! No, oh, there's a mod lady. What's up? One of my aides said you got into the Lucky Thirty Eight. If you see someone by the name of Emily near there, we would like you to work for us. Let's head over to Fort McCarran. Cam McCarran. Head over there. I respect her. Yeah, she's actually pretty cool. I don't mind the followers of the apocalypse. 
Oh shit! Ah! Ooh, shit. Dude, this thing's broken. This thing's broken, broken. Holy crap. If it's bad news, you can take it up with the colonel. If it's good news, it better involve some dead fiends. What do you know about the fiends? Back of drugged out killers. They're addicted to every stim, every pill, every psychoactive enema on this fucked up earth. I've got three fiends I want dead, and I don't give a goddamn how it gets done. Fair enough. Sound like something that interests you? Oh, absolutely. Yes, it does. Good. That's damn good. I figure it's about time we got lucky out here, so maybe you can snuff one of these maniacs. First one calls herself Violet. God knows why. The name is the prettiest thing about her. <laughs> Spends most of her time with a pack of vicious dogs. Then there's Driver Nafai. He's fast and he's brutal. Killed about a dozen of my men with a goddamn driver iron. That's Yikes. his name. And finally, Cook Cook. Rapist, pyromaniac, and damn good chef if you believe the fiends we've captured. Probably the craziest of the lot. I'm not gonna feed you any bullshit. These aren't your common Vegas trash. They've all killed good NCR men, and plenty of mercs too. You go after them, any of them, you're in for a hell of a fight. So, which one is it gonna be? All of them. All right, Queenie. You met your match once again. Ooh, that was a direct hit. That's nice. All right, now he's gonna go berserk. Yeah, he's fighting his own guys now. Ooh, I crippled his arm. Oh, cook, cook, chill, bro. Literally chill, because you're burning me alive. Nice, it's not mangled this time. We got it. Alright, cut his head off. I might as well grab his stuff while here, too. Oh, nice. Damn it. Oh, I did. I got it. Got her by the ankle. Hell yeah. There it is. Violet's head. Might as well take her drugs and ammo, too. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of dudes. There's a lot of dudes. Making it rain. We got him. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, this is him. Got his head. And then also, we get his unique golf club. Alright, let's grab that golf club. I want to see that, baby. There we go. I think there's a shit ton of damage. Or. I see you're still alive, and that's promising. Any luck on that bounty? I want to claim the bounty. That right. You killed one of the psychopaths on my shit list. Let me see the scumbag's head. God damn it. That's Violet, all right. You made me one happy son of a bitch, you know that? You're welcome. Here, this is the bounty I put on her head. It's yours. Think you can take down another one of these scumbags? Up to you. But I can trust you to do the job, and I'd hate to see you walk away. All right, actually, I already have another head. You killed another one. Let me have a look at the head. Well, well, well. Driver Nafai. Nothing to say, you son of a bitch. No <laughs> tips on my golf swing. Lost a lot of good men to this psychopath. Morale's gonna be better now that he's gone. Here's the bounty I promised. Oh, I appreciate I guess it. Guess we can send First Recon down to Camp Forlorn Hope. They need all the help they can get there. That's two psychopaths dead. If you can bring down the third, there's a bonus in it for you. Already done. Here's the head. If that's true, that'd be the last of them. Yeah, that's Cook Cook. Ugh, did he always smell like this, even before <laughs> he was dead? 
And the fiends let this guy touch their food? Well, this is payback for at least one of my troopers. She'll be glad to know he's dead. Here's your caps. All right, thank You've you. been one hell of a stroke of good luck, you know that? Those three scumbags probably killed 20 NCR troops. You're so close to a level. You bring them down alone. Wish I had a few grunts as good as you. Damn good working with you. All right, well, there you go. We just got everything to, uh, done that we wanted to do for stream. We took out the Brotherhood. We met those guys. We helped out, take out the fiends, made some money on the way. I say right here. I appreciate you guys stopping in. I appreciate everybody that chatted it up, had a good time. I had a good time, and next stream we'll try to do something just as extreme as this one. Wow. Thanks for stopping in, guys. Peace.